We dancing for Jesus. <laughs> we praise dancing, boy. I'm for the beat line. We love the hugs. We love the hugs. Make sure you get your ass over there to Mama Latunji's palette. What you looking most forward to to seeing today? To be all the way honest, uh, myself. Nah, I'm just playing. Nah, my boy, man, my boy Javon, man, he, he's doing huge things in the city. Come on, Ron. We're at Patton University here with the man himself, Devonta Patton. How, how are you doing today? I am good. I'm excited. This first show is full of a lot of young people, so I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It's great. There's a huge turnout for the first show. Great theater, great great area to have it. How do you how did you decide to do it at the AMC in this area? Um, I like the parking. It's one of my favorite movie theaters, so making the partnership with them uh, was the perfect thing for me. Um, this area is safe for all ages and a generation. So people could come and feel safe, maybe go to the mall, go to their favorite restaurant afterwards. So a lot of a lot of great options were here. Mm -hmm. Not to spoil too much of the movie, but what was like your favorite part in making the movie? Uh, my favorite part in making the movie had to be just um, getting all of the community people together and allowing them to see themselves on the big screen today and just knowing that this is first of many for so many Minneapolis, Minnesota residents. Mm -hmm. You came in dripped. What was the inspiration behind the fit today? It looks, you, know you, came in. you know what? We have been doing skinny leg jeans for a long time. So I'm really into the whole bell bottom look. My wife bought me these. Balenciaga's for Christmas. I just did a black hoodie, black makes you look slim. And um, I needed a bag so my phone wouldn't be in my pocket and all that. So this is kind of what I, what I did. But I like this because I don't need a mask. I just got to figure out how to do this right. Mm -hmm. When I have to figure that out. <laughs> ain't, ain't this, oh, you, you, uh, yeah, you got to like pinch and pull. Here, I'll hold it yeah. so I'm sure. Yeah. Pin pinch, pull. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I was going to get Patton University on it, but I forgot it. I'm going to get prints done. That's right. I'll let you get back. I know you're busy. you got a big day ahead of you. Congratulations again on the movie. Thank you. Thank you for uh, having Water Wave TV be here. Everybody's enjoying your previews in there. Yeah, thank you. It's the Water Wave. It's the Water Wave effect. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm with Steph. I'm with my man, Steph Weezy, young actor, young, young, young IG comedian. You know, are you excited? All right, we got more, we got more, but we got to make this one quick. We got to make this one quick so my mans can get in. But are you excited for the movie today? Yes, I'm very excited. What you looking most, what you looking most forward to, to seeing today? To be all the way honest, uh, myself, not nah, just playing, nah, my boy, <laughs> man, my boy Javon, man, he, he's doing huge things in the city. And I'm excited to see what he has in works because I've seen bits and pieces of it mm -hmm. via Instagram, but mm -hmm. I know he got way more in the movie. So, okay. you know, I'm okay. just excited to see what it is. What song are you looking forward to hearing today? Um, oh, man. The one he did with the football, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, my mind okay. ain't there right now, yeah, but yeah. The, uh, you the, know what I'm saying? Yeah, with the, on the uh, field with the, the field band and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah I forgot. Yeah. What's the name of that? You're going to tell me. Run the Jungle. Run the Jungle. That's it. Run the that's jungle. it. Run the Jungle. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's yes, my, sir. Yeah, I'm excited to okay see one. okay okay well thank you for stopping in we'll probably interview you after like yeah, get your afterward sure. yeah, re reactions and stuff so i just had to get you in quick right before the you know right before the shot like appreciate you my guy yes sir yes sir yes, yes sir yeah, bet it up yes sir it's vino man that was a recent all uh, right bet it up this vino man that was a quick little whoop de whoop with my man step wheezy you know you'll see us later in a second all right catch it out just finished the movie Patton University. He graduated, got your diploma. How do you feel? I missed a couple classes, you know what I'm saying? I had to finesse at the end, but I got it done, you know what I'm saying? I was in and out. I feel great, man. It was it was wonderful. The movie was a whole vibe. You got to act as the admissions counselor at Patton University. Uh, how did you get chosen for that role and like what made you really like step into it and you like doing it? Um, honestly, it was a new role for me. You know, I'd be on my Denzel stuff, on the other comedy stuff. But, you know, I was well qualified and they picked me for the role and I, I went in there and I executed. So now I'm just waiting on the Grammy because that performance was just, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so where, where, when's, what's the next movie? What, when's the next movie coming from Steph Weezy? Oh, I got a whole movie coming next year. Okay. It's going to be, um, I want to say February. I want to drop it near my birthday, but I got a whole project coming. Comedy, you know how I do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got a lot of local, uh, local comedians in it. 
cool. So I'm trying to put everybody that is in the co uh, comedian scene in the movie. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I'm trying to put on. For mm -hmm. it. Yeah. What's uh, your relationship with Javanta? Like, how, why did he? Uh, how did you get chose for the role? You think? Um, I think just you know, uh, I'm, I got a huge social media presence, and I do the acting, and I've mm -hmm. been in a couple feature films, but uh, you know, I, I did 100 million views in the last uh, six months, so. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I think he definitely he definitely picked a lot of the right people for all the scenes. But yeah, thanks for coming. I mean, obviously, thanks for being in the movie. Yeah, I'm. I'm shout out to Waterwave TV, man. I see y'all doing big stuff too, man. Shout out to Pink Report. University, man, grab your merch, man. We we in here, Minnesota's own, Minneapolis, putting on for the city. Sure. Yeah, and I got a uh, I got a meeting, so I gotta go. Okay. Shout out to Waterweave. Yes. <laughs> I said Waterweave. Hey, yo, 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 yo. We're at we're at Patton University with Adrian Wilson. Adrian Wilson, my guy Adrian Wilson here today, man. Adrian, what are you most excited for today in the movie? I'm seeing a yoke a local black entrepreneur produce their own movie. I don't know what the movie's about. Mm -hmm. I've been not wanting to know what the movie's about because okay. I want to see it up close and personal. So yes, I'm excited to see this creativity in, in our city that is going to go up on a big screen, man. Okay, okay. How do you know Javanta? Um, through Instagram, we worked a little bit. We, we know of each other and we finally kind of linked up and we, we shot an interview the other day and, and we're going to work on some other stuff more. So stay tuned. We're here with another interview at the Patton University m movie premiere. Who am I here with today? Emmanuel Donaby. Uh, what brought you to the movie theater today? Oh, man, I'm just excited to see, uh, you know, PU production. Um, interested in what's going on. I've been knowing Javante for a while, so I'm happy to support. What are you most excited for to see today? I'm surprised, you know. I'm, I'm, I think all of it, man. It's, you know, just I don't know what to expect, so I'm just ready to see it all. Well, we'll have to get your word after the movie and see how, see if it met your expectations, blew your expectations, or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, I'm with it. Sounds good. We'll see you later, right, then. Thanks. All right, all right, all right. This is Vino over here at Waterwave TV, and I'm here with. Glam Life Kim. Glam Life Kim <laughs> is here today. Glam Life Kim, what has brought you here today? Well, you know, I'm just so excited for this opportunity that Javante has. I mean, we've been friends for a long time. We've done uh, radio together, and I'm even a part of this video, so I'm excited to see what he has put together. He's doing some great things in the Twin Cities, and I'm just happy to be able to support. Okay, 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 so you're an actor, actress, correct, in the movie? Um, well, so I just had a little part. So a as part. a yeah. So you is an actress. She do got roles. She may not have lines, right. but she is an actress. Right, right. absolutely. For I got sure. roles. I just, I for got sure. Roles. For sure, for sure. Do you do you have a scene that you're most excited for or is it the scene that you in? <laughs> no, actually I'm just excited for the whole movie. I okay. really I've been watching of course the trailers and the whole Patton University theme. Okay. I know how much he loves Beyonce and so just even <laughs> right, you know. So even just seeing, um, you know, the football field scene and, mm -hmm. you know, I just can't wait to see what he put together. He has so much talent and I'm just excited to see what this movie is going to be all about. Dope, dope, dope. Appreciate you for talking to me here real quick, Glam Life Kim. This is Vino over at Waterwave TV. Glam Life Kim, once again, nice seeing you. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. And Javante, I just want to say again how happy I am for you. And I love you and your family. You and Simone, you guys are the best. Give it up for Javante, y'all. What's going on, guys? We're here at the Patton University Show. Another interview. I'm here with the big man himself, TJ. What's going on? Uh, you were an actor in the movie. You had a couple scenes. You also used your gym. Uh, what, was it, what was it like being a part of this? It was dope, especially for the black community, man. You know, a lot of this was definitely based off of what went on in Minneapolis and what went on in the community during the pandemic and George Floyd's dying. So it was great to see a lot of black business owners come together for positivity and still growing through the pandemic. There you go. You just you said it got the words all out of my mouth. Are right, we here at Patton University once again with another interview? I'm here with Mac Irv. What's poppin', man? What's poppin'? Uh, I, you're not you're not in the in the film, correct? I'm not, I'm not in the I film. I just watched it. But I didn't see I'm the whole thing. Doing this film just to give me myself a quick shout out. To, uh, 
I was working on a breakthrough the entire time. But uh, me and Javante talked a lot, and uh, we went through creative ideas, and we supported each other's stuff. So I just wanted to make sure I was here to support him. You know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, how how long have you known Javante, and like, what's your relationship oh, with him? Oh man, I, it's, I think it's going on seven or eight years. Um, I, I knew him through music through the city. He reached out to me before, and we did a song a long time ago that came out like on SoundCloud, and we performed it. And then maybe three or four years back, me and him did another song with Ashley the Bowls that was on, um, I believe. Five Finally living uh, is one of his projects. So um, we just kind of been connected through the music and then gained a friendship from there. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are you most excited to see today? Uh, maybe, are you, maybe you don't even know what you're about to see, but what is something you're looking forward to seeing? Uh, I'm just excited to see the, the creative ex uh, expression and, and the art that he put into it and the effort. You know, I know he works extremely hard. He hustles extremely hard. He's very innovative. And um, I'm just excited to see what he does, man, honestly. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah, you for thank that. Thank you, man. We're back here with another interview. Today I am here with... Crystal Gordon, NFL. <laughs> who, am I, who else am I here with? Zoe Patton. Zoe Patton. Yes. Uh, what, so what is, uh, what is your relationship with Javante? This is my goddaughter, and I have known Javante since he came out the womb. Okay. So all of his life, I watched him grow up. We um, grew up in church together. Um, my mom and his mom had a baby at the same time. Zoe is my birthday twin, and I really didn't come to see him. I came to see her and Ella. They're the real stars of the show. If y'all are out, you guys have to check them out, see the soundtrack. You are worth it. Featuring Ella and Zoe, they are amazing. They're up and coming stars. Their dad is just the catalyst, you know? God gives everybody a purpose, and his purpose is to get them there. <laughs> <laughs> what was what was your favorite part of the movie? Like what, what was what was your favorite part? Um, so the marching band part was super dope. I live in Atlanta, so I'm all about the SVs. Um, that was crazy. And then of course the Worth It um, soundtrack featuring Ella and Zoe, and just overall, you know, the support for the city. I grew up here. I graduated from North High School. You know, Minneapolis has been through so much. You know, there's been so much trauma. It's time for healing. And I think that this movie is a great opportunity to start that healing and show some of the positive because there, there's always so much emphasis on the negative here in the city. And this video just shows some of the up and coming entrepreneurs and some of the things going on. And, you know, just to bring a light, you know, to such a dark space that we're living in right now. I just think it was an amazing opportunity. Timing was great. I'm so, so proud of Javante and Simone. God bless you guys. I'm always here for you. I love you. The movie was amazing. We lit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your You're time. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> were you, you were dancing in the movie, right? <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you enjoy making that scene? Yeah. That's cool. What you got? What you eating right now? You got some popcorn. What else you got? And I got this. Juice. Juice? A little icy? Mm. Looks amazing. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're at the Patton University. Who am I here with today? My name is Kenielle Taylor. Uh, what is your relationship with Javante Patton? Oh, my goodness. I've known Javante probably 20 plus years since he was a teenager, actually. Okay. Uh, we started, um, we would sing uh, together sometimes uh, in church. So, yeah, that's where I, um, where we originally met. And then over the years, um, we've just kept in contact, and then when his daughters became of age, they actually became a part of my dance studio. Cool. So was that your dance studio that was in the movie? Yes, it was. Dominion Dance Company, the, all the little precious girls in their black leotards and pink tights. Uh, that's the dance studio that I own. Mm -hmm. uh, how, what, what kind of message did you get from the movie, and like, what, are, what are you proud to say like, that it accomplished? Oh my goodness. Such an uplifting uh, message of hope. Um, just showing us in a more positive light uh, definitely what the world has seen with the issue with George Floyd and everything that transpired um, in Minneapolis um, I feel like the movie just again was an uplifting movie um, and just showed our men women and children um, just in a real positive light showing that we are survivors um, and that we're, we're tough we're strong we're resilient we're survivors so Thank you for your time. Make sure you enroll your kids into what dance studio Dominion again? Dominion Dance Company. Dominion Dance Company. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Yo, 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 yo. This is Vino with Waterwave TV, and I'm here with... 
Cortland Pickens. Okay, Cortland Pickens, you run you run the choir, correct? Yes. The choir in the movie? Absolutely, yes. That's known in PLS. Um, we started the choir about a year and a half ago, north side of Minneapolis-based community youth choir. So, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful performances from today. What was your favorite part of the movie? Well, outside of our song. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, outside of the um, song. Because we did that. But um, just putting Minneapolis on the map, um, I went to high school in North Minneapolis, and I'm teaching in North Minneapolis. So to just put North Minneapolis back on the map, you know. For sure, for sure, for sure. How did you um, meet Javante? Like, how did, how did, how did your guys' relationship start? Um, Javante and I, we've been singing together for years now. Whenever he does um, stuff when he had his choir, um, I featured on some songs there. Right. And he's just a phenomenal artist here in the city. So, dope, dope, dope. What, what is new to look, what are, we, what are we looking forward to from the choir coming this 2021? For sure. So, well, first of all, go check out our website, knownmpls.com. Um, we've done um, two virtual concerts already, and they're on our website, but we're working on an Easter concert right now mm -hmm. and another concert that we're going to do in June. So stay tuned. Everything's on our website or on our Instagram page, knownmpls. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, and I am Vino Water with Waterwave TV. That was me and Cortland. Cortland here with Known MPLS, and you know we will see you soon. See ya. All right, yo, 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 it's Vino here with Waterwave TV once again, and I'm here with Monea, Ezra. Ezra. I'm here with Monet and Ezra from Known Minneapolis Choir, right? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I got it right. I just got done interviewing Cortland, and he told me that his favorite part was was y'all being no, in the I movie. What was your guys' favorite part apart from that? Um, I think my favorite part apart from that was... It was that music video. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> honestly, it wasn't just our part, but it was just everybody together, even the dancers from Dominion. Mm -hmm. Like the way that the whole music video was structured was really nice. And I like that um, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis was also shout out in that yeah, music yeah, video yeah. as well. Minnesota legend. Yeah, so I just like the whole Minneapolis theme, you know, putting us on the market, so yeah. How about you, um, I would say two um, was our, our, our feature part and um, also the the dorm um, scene as well that was really fun so. so how old are you guys I'm 17 I'm 16 how how long have you guys been involved with known Minneapolis choir since it started this started two mm, yeah years ago. well okay. it's gonna since be it two started. years so you guys are OGs technically yeah. Yeah. OGs. <laughs> have you guys heard of Sounds of Blackness? Yes. Yes, because that was part of the video too, right? Yeah, they had yeah. like some of their stuff in there. Yeah. I, I, I think I think I think you guys kind of like remind me of like a younger version yeah. of that. But I think I think you guys are on your way. You guys might have a Grammy coming yeah. or something, especially after that. Especially after that. But um, last question, last question. How do you guys know Javante? Singing well, choir, yeah, church. In churches. I've been knowing him since like I was like a like a baby baby just from him singing at my church and everything. So yeah. And what was your overall experience? Mm, was just seeing him with the DFY. It was it was a really good impact on my life. So yeah. Really good role models. Really good role models. I'm Vino here with Waterwave, man. We just got done meeting with Monea, Ezra, and that is all I got for you today. See ya. Back at it again with another interview at the Patton University movie premiere. Who am I with today? My name is Tanya Campbell. Uh, and I, I'm aware that you have an activewear clothing brand. Is that correct? Yes, Sporty Girl Activewear. Uh, what you want to explain a little bit more about it? What Sweaty Girl Activewear is, it is providing activewear for women of all sizes and of all ages to allow them to feel comfortable and classy while working out. What is your relationship like with Javante? Javante, I've been knowing Javante for quite a while, and he's kind of like a spiritual son to me. So I've been knowing him for, oh wow, over nine plus years. And so we kind of built the relationship since then and um, just, yeah, so. Uh, what made you come to the show today? Was it something that you're just excited about? Is it just show support, or like what? What are you most excited to see about too? I guess. Well, I'm excited to see the growth that he has um, just over just over the years. Just seeing him just grow continuously, and to watch him brand. Um, 
kind of create his brand and to grow his brand um, in all types of genre, but mainly just watching him really explore through the gospel industry and just seeing his growth. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Make sure you shop where at again? Sporty Girl Activewear. Thank you. Yo, 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 it's Vino here from Waterwave TV and I'm here with Miss Latunji. Miss Latunji, Miss Latunji, and what 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 business do you own? I think you're a business owner here. You look like one. You're looking like one. All right. So yes, um, I'm Latunji with Latunji's Palette. Okay. A gourmet social enterprise dessert company located right here in the Twin Cities, but we ship nationwide. Wow. Um, and we move forward with a social impact vision and goal. Mm -hmm. That is just to bring in the disenfranchised. We work together and we build. We I build community. It. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. What brings you in here today? What 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 is your motivation to come into this building in Patton University today? Oh, I love that question. That's a great question. <laughs> so just to let everybody know, Javante Patton is my baby. When I tell you that he has been a part of my life since he was a young, young man, very young. Um and I just, I've always supported his work. I love his work. I love the vision God has given him and how he's running with that vision. I wouldn't have missed tonight for nothing in the world at all. Yeah. I love to hear it. Love to hear it. How did you meet Javanta? Where did, where, where, where did this all start to begin with? My passion working with, um, young, with youth. Mm -hmm. And you know, Javante has always been ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. And he, he had discernment as a very young man, a very young man. And um, he had approached me about assisting and helping with some of the projects that he knew were to come. And this was years back. Yeah. And um, he knew that, of course, I had a connection and a passion to support youth. Mm -hmm youth in the church, youth within community and everywhere. And that's how it all started. And it's just an exciting time. And I'm just so blessed to just see how God has really just blossomed him, his wife, his business, because he really gives God all the praise and all the glory. And I know that that's why we're here today. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much, Mama Latunji <laughs> from Latunji's Palette. Yes. This Gourmet is Vino here with Waterwave TV. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, yes, guys. Yes, oh, I just yes. want to hug you. Okay. We can always give hugs. We love the hugs. Right, we love the hugs. Right, Make sure you get your ass over there to Mama Latunji's <laughs> Palette. <Thank you. laughs> We're here at the Patton University movie premiere once again. Who am I here with today? Trey Adams with the signature group. With the signature group, you were actually in a couple parts of the movie. What what parts were they? Uh, worth it, and I forgot the the other one. It was two of the two of the music music yeah. videos. Parts, yeah. Right? Uh, what uh how did you how were you implemented? Like how did you get reached out to to be a part of the a part of the movie? Um, close friends with the Patton family, and also uh, they're my clients as well. Okay. So uh, what do you what do you do on like a daily basis? What's like your gig? What do you? I'm a real estate agent. Okay. Were you the were you the one that helped them get their house get their home? Yes. Cool. So that's a uh, that's how you've been in a relationship with Javante. That's kind of how you met him. Um, just growing up from the north side, um, kind of being all this close. So. How do you feel the message of this movie was portrayed? Do you feel like what like what was the big message behind it? You know, it's just uh, just some good energy, people to be able to like you know what like coming from where we come from, it's a positive impact that one that Javante and his whole family just brings, but there's another light into North Minneapolis itself. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Where should they, who should, how, where should they contact or who should they contact? Well, you, but how should they get in contact with you if they need a house? Uh, a trader realtor or the signature group mn.com. There you go, get you a home. Okay, 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 it's Vino here with Waterwave TV and I am here with Rhonda Connolly. Rhonda Connolly, and who are you here with? I am here with some friends who invited me to this movie, and I'm also here with a personal friend who is from New Salem Missionary Baptist Church. Her name is Perlisha. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And what are you most excited for in this movie here tonight? Because you're, you're still yet to watch it, right? Yes. Okay, what are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to... Just a black male who is trying to show his worthness in the community as a God-fearing man and just, just trying to put himself forth to show other people that they can do great things if they just put their mind to it. For sure, for sure, for sure. Do you, do you know Javante personally? 
I know him on a spiritual matter mm -hmm. and we collaborate with one another through our churches and individually and we just show love to each other. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And remind me your name one more time. My name is Rhonda Conley. I'm from New Salem Missionary Baptist Church. I'm one to support the community and what we're doing for the love of God and I thank you for the opportunity. Dope, dope, dope. This is Vino with Waterwave TV and that was me and Rhonda going crazy. You know the vibes. See you later. <laughs> Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. It's Vino here with Waterwave TV and I'm here with Jaquetta Williams. Charles Williams. I'm here with Jaquetta Williams and Charles Williams here today after watching the beautiful Patton University. What did you guys think? I'm proud of the production. I appreciate that it shows a positive light in terms of what's happening here in our state and in Minneapolis in particular. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it? Good, 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 good. What, what, what brings you guys here today? What was your motivation in coming in to watch this movie? We wanted to be a support to the Pattons. Okay. We were intrigued with Patton University and being HBCU graduates wanted to come and see what, what, held, what it held for young people. Same here. <laughs> he 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 feeling the same way as wife, you know. You know, whatever she says, that's what goes. Oh God, oh God. But um, also, I mean, I don't know if you guys if you guys have this off of, off top of head, but what is your favorite song from tonight? Probably because it's last, but I think just the impressionable piece of seeing his daughter singing "You're Worth It" was that, just notable. That, that gave me the chills. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know the. Uh, name of that first song, but I like that first song. Uh, Not the football field one, right? It was yeah. the football field. Yeah, um, jun yeah Jungle Something. Yeah, I, like, uh, I like that one. Yeah, that that one player. was one of my favorite yeah, I ones too. I think I think I think I'm a little biased just because I'm a football player too. But oh, okay. but but thank you guys so much for the interview. I hope you guys have a great night. This is Calvin Vino with Waterwave TV speaking here with Jaquetta Williams. Charles Williams. And we'll see you guys later. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, guys. Right. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Waterwave family? This is Vino here with the Waterwave TV, and I'm here with... Cody. Cody. Cody, where are you from? Native to here, Minneapolis, Minnesota, myself, so... And what brings you in tonight, Cody, my guy? Uh, I'm to support a local artist, a fellow artist. I play trombone in the cities. I was in the video as well, so I just want to come out and show my support. Amazing. So you're an actor then here tonight at the screening? Yeah, pretty much. It's interesting as a musician, uh -huh. um, but they had me come in and essentially, you know, lay down some stuff essentially for the video. So mm -hmm. it was a pleasure being an opportunity to get out and just, you know, supporting someone who comes from the same place. That's amazing. That's amazing. What was your favorite part from the movie? Apart from the part that you're in, what was your, <laughs> what was your favorite part of the movie? Man, I, I grew up in a gospel community, so anytime, like, anytime, anytime his music comes on, I'm just, like, in love with it. But, like, I love the football scene specifically. Yeah. Uh, my family's come from the same cloth, so, like, kind of see that kind of message, you know, kind of hit home for me. So I love that for sure. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Cody. Yeah, this was this was Vino with Waterwave TV. Had to link up with my guy Cody, man. Trump, Trump, trumpet, trombone, trombone player. Yeah. So you know he be doing. <laughs> he be getting it in, man. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you so much, Cody. Yeah. Have a great rest of your night, man. Yeah, you too. This is Waterwave TV. See you later. All right, y'all, this is Vino once again with Waterwave TV, and I'm here with... Pastor Andre Dukes. Pastor Andre Dukes, my man. Yes. How, what did you think of the movie tonight? I was inspired and encouraged. I want to thank Javante for reimagining what's possible for young people, not just in Minnesota, but around the world. And I believe that he really put on display the gifts that exist in North Minneapolis in particular. And the world needs to know that young people, better days are coming. For real, for real. I just felt that with chills down my spine a little bit there. But what, what is your relationship with Javante? Javante is like a godson to me. I've always been blessed by his ministry since he first started with um, DFY. And I've always tried to support him, but he is near and dear to me. He is like a son. Of course, of course. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. Last question. Yes. Last question. 
what was your favorite song from the movie tonight? <laughs> um, Better Days. I think that that is so, such a prophetic word for young people today. With all that went on in 2020, we need to know and we need to be assured that better days are coming. For real, for real, better days are coming. Yeah. So this is Vino here with Waterwave TV and I'm here with once again, Pastor Andre Dukes. Pastor Andre Dukes, thank you so much for having me here tonight. Thank, thank you for you coming so and I hope you. He graduated, because I know I graduated, <laughs> but I hope he graduated from Patton University. I we'll graduated. see y'all later. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs>